hello welcome back again to nx tutorial a motion tutorial so in this session i would like to show you how to working with the result after motion simulation how to work with the graph so in here i have uh, already prepared the simulation you can see i already create all the link in here and create the joint also in here we have a hydraulic jack here and also the second in here the third in here and some kind of a 3d a collision 3d contact within the bucket and the third ball between on each ball also now the next thing i should do after preparing this model is to create a solution click the solution the time 14 seconds the step is 500 the gravity direction is in the negative z direction i click ok and then click solve okay okay go to animation let's see okay so that's it the simulation now what we want to investigate how much the force needed for this check number f number three in here okay to hold now if i click in here it's automatically in the x y result view we have uh, so many parameters you can see we have a force magnitude so if i click plot get the window this is the force as you can see the graph it's shown very uh, is unclear the the shape and also the value because it's it's changing rapidly so what we need to do we should make some kind of a mathematical operation for this uh, for this force force magnetic okay so now i will insert the force magnet into x y grabbing by right click and create grab object you can see it's insert in here and also i want to insert the bucket position in here the position in here the magnitude create grab object and then after that i will save this by using store in the graphic it's called uh, real grab okay click okay here also store in the same file will grab so it means if I store in the same file you can see I create user a file in the wheel grab is the bucket mass and the jack also so if I want to create in the same graphic just right click check both plot like this okay now the next thing I want to do is to create some kind of mathematical operation for this okay you can see in here the check the bucket okay go back again to jack in here force magnitude okay create grab object are still the same sorry okay i will store in a, a different is called interpolated polated okay so now we have two in here the interpolated and the real grab so right now in here result using single mat go to interpolated f file because i choose the f file using 
linear interpolate you can save the other AFO but you can save also in interpolated so it will be no problem okay interpolated one maybe should we name it So you won't be here. Okay, we have interpolated. You can see the difference. If I click in here, force plot using the graph. This is the real graph, and this is the interpolated graph. You can see there are a difference. So if I combine in one graph here using plot xy you see this is the blue the blue is uh, the interpolated the red one is not interpolated so to make it uh, slightly different you can go to editing of the graph click this one twice you can change the width and you can change the f here okay maybe this one okay and with the red also you can change into 0 0.25 click ok so in here we have two difference to actually it's not different the real graph the red one and the blue one is the interpolated so when we go back to the simulation okay so this is the simulation and I, when I click play you can see this is the actual force into the check hydraulic number three okay so that's it how to extract a data after you uh, making a simulation of the of the motion itself after extract the force the magnitude of the torque a displacement and anything you need to know from the motion simulation thank you very much for watching my video and please watch other video thank you